This is the new bike. Hey YouTube, my name's Adam and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a new bike reveal. Uh, this is the new bike. It's the 2017 Street Triumph Street Triple R. I've just got it. I've just picked it up from a, a, a dealer's in stock. And I'm on my way home with it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just so happy with it. It's a bit of a surprise. I didn't sort of like envision I, I've wanted one for a while but I didn't envision I was gonna get one this soon um, but this one came up I got a great deal on it it's the winter sale so I got uh, it's 500 pound knocked off it it's fully serviced it comes with just every accessory you can think of really on it uh, and I couldn't turn it down it's got the arrow exhaust as you can see um, it's got the factory heated grips factory fly screen belly pan uh, it's got the comfort seat got the comfort seat and the seat cowl and look at that baby in there <laughs> that is the triumph quick shifter right there I'm really happy with it it's done 3200 mile one owner I mean this rear tyre it's quite it's plenty it's legal obviously but it's quite squared off because as you can see it's never been on its side it's the ABS model I'm just really happy with it it came up and I couldn't really turn it down with the deal that he gave me on it um, so this is the new addition to the channel and I'm sad to say the Versus has got to go because I can't afford to keep it I've not traded it in because you know, he couldn't really give me a good trading price so I've just got this um, on HP, pay the deposit and pay it on the never never as they say but it's what I've always wanted, it's what I've wanted for a while you've heard me talk about the Street Triple 765 RS before being my dream bike but that's just out of my price range at the moment but this is every, everything I'm going to need for the next few, next four or five years I'm not going to need anything more than this this will bring me on a lot more, that Versus um, as people who watch my channel know that's like was like my first big bike so uh, I mean it's been a really good bike about it for three years but sadly it's time to depart with it but happily oops, someone's dropped the mobile phone I've got this baby we're just heading up I've come through Leak I'm just heading up towards Michael's field so we'll get on the bike and get going and I'll run you through it It's a windy day today, so I don't know what this. Uh... Not sure what the commentary is going to be like. But I had a problem with my mic last time. One thing I can't sort out with is these mirrors. I don't know if they need to go further back for me, or do they need to come that way in? I don't know. It's like they need to be higher up or maybe they need to push further back that way. But I'm not seeing much out of them at the moment. I can't. Right, let's get going. That's the only problem that I've got. Because <laughs> I have to duck right down to see out the mirrors. I'll sort them out. Oh, I feel so lucky at YouTube. I do, I just... I never thought I'd be getting this. 
um, well this soon anyway you know it was, it was always probably gonna pip the um, what's it to my next bike it's probably always gonna um, I, I did consider getting the new Tenere you know I could get it doing something to what uh, my mate Morph is thinking about doing and giving it 12 months and um, I was probably going to pick one up on the second hand market, I don't know if Morphe was still going to go on you, but you know, giving it what, 12 months just to see the reviews and what people are saying about them. But then when I, when, I, when I weighed it up, you know, a couple of things came into it, is like, I've already got the DR, but I'll be doing any sort of like green laning and you know, the small sort of like back roads on, it's quite, it's, you know, it's more than capable for doing them. I'll tell you what, <laughs> um, I'll have to blame this on Morphe when, uh, when Nicola asked me. <laughs> I mean, obviously she knows I've gone getting the bike today, but I mean, if I get any heat over it <laughs> in the next few days, I'm going to blame Morphe for it. Because when I watched his video where he, um, he was on the 250 and he was, having, uh, he was playing with the big boys on them bigger bikes, <laughs> I just thought, you know what I mean, them little 250s, they're more than capable for what you need on them type of roads. You don't need, you know, a bigger bike. You don't need, um, I mean, the Versus on, on that type of road would be would be a good bike, but you don't really need that size of engine. Um, and probably same with the Tenere, you know. So if I'm going on them sort of like back roads, them type of roads, you know, an overnight knot and all that type of thing. I'm pretty sure the 250 will be more than capable to do that. And if not, shh, don't tell, <laughs> don't tell Nicola this. I'll have to upgrade it to a maybe a WR 450 or a DRZ 400 or something, but that won't be happening anytime soon, but maybe in the future. So that was sort of like made my decision. You know, that had other factors, but like I like to go quite a bit off-road I want to start going quite a bit more like proper off-road and you want to do that on a seven grand or like eight grand or whatever the antenna here that you you're scared of dropping and stuff I wouldn't like to anyway I'd be absolutely gutted <laughs> to be honest with you so that made the decision the tenor here was knocked off the list and it was going to be a triumph couldn't afford Trying to put it in another gear. There we go. Quick shifter does work. <laughs> um, yeah, so it came down to this. It came down to what I could afford. And then, like you do, you start looking round, and I seen this. I, I just couldn't turn it down. 500 off the price. Showed the previous, obviously, advert. And the previous advert was on Auto Trader as well. But they'd not five thousand pound off it was already prepped I mean, all, all happened so quick this week because the bike was already prepped because they'd been prepping bikes over winter while they're quiet it was all prepped ready to go they put it in the winter sale with a few other things i did look at um a ktm 790 super duke uh, that was about i think that was four thousand four thousand well, like four hundred pound dairy than this um, and you've got, you know, you've got all sorts of sort of like driver modes on that and lean sensitive, lean angle sensitive ABS and different things. But really all this has got is ABS as, as regards like sort of driver aids. But do you need all that and is it just more things to go wrong? And then I started looking into servicing costs and they were expensive them KTMs on the servicing. The service intervals and what have you so. And it's the age old adage, isn't it? If you, if you ask somebody what's a good bike, a good mid range bike, a good, like, um, you know, bike for the street and the twisties and stuff, this one always, you know, it's, people always mention the street triple. It's been such a brilliant bike, the older one than this. This is the last of the 675. They're on the 765 now, aren't they? In 2000, this is a 2017, but they also brought out in 2017, or the, towards the end of it. 
So yeah, um, like I said, it's it's been specced up. It's had one owner from new, um, and he's obviously specced it up with all the uh, all the stuff. It must have been specced up. Everything's try factory fitted, EE grips, uh, the fly screen, and the uh, the hugger. Not the hugger. The uh, yeah, it's. They're all, um, I don't know what's called that bottom furning bit. <laughs> Head's gone. And obviously the arrow exhaust, they're, you know, they're um, an optional extra. Quick shift is a proper Triumph quick shifter. It's got the comfort seat, it's got the rear seat cowl. So, I mean, you're talking, what, 500 quid, I bet, five, 600 quid for the can. Probably not on, on, on. You, you're over a thousand pound I think in accessories on the bike so one thing you never really get back is it price wise when you spec a bike up you probably get you probably sell it quicker but you don't really make any more money on it I think people who buy them new lose the most money it depends whether they want to spec it up or not oh, I'm so addictive that that noise, that induction noise is incredible on it, I love it, that's the one thing I love about it, you hear that over the exhaust. The roads are a bit damp and obviously I'm not used to it, so we're not doing Oh, that quick shift. Oh, it's something else. I hope this mic's alright, I had problems with it uh, last time, I tucked it in a bit more, so... Should be alright, warmer, got a bit, a bit more stuff on, it's a lot warmer than when I went out on the DR as well. Oh, it's just seamless, that upshifting. Yeah, I tried to, uh, <laughs> I tried to be cheeky and get some on the tyres, I was saying, um, obviously trying to get £100 knocked off the deposit on the tyres, but to be fair, they're perfectly legal. You know, it's, it's it's a good price anyway on the bike, but you've got to try, haven't you? So I tried to get um, to get him to come down, meet me halfway on the tyres, but he weren't having none of it. So the new back. So then obviously he went through the things that it has has had had when they um, when they you know did all the pre-delivery inspection, all that PDI checks on it, the safety inspection and service did. So it's just had a service, got full service history. It's just had a service off them. Uh, 3,200 mile, that's all the bike's done. Um, so it's just a new oil and filter, only a bit, you know, only not had a full service. Had a new battery because he just said, you know, just because it's been it's been sat and sat around and the battery were flat, so we don't mess about. New battery on it, put a new chain on it for the same reason, really. He said, no, that, that mileage, you don't need a chain. But there were a couple of links because they, they've actually had the bike. What he said was, he said it's, it's one of them bikes that, because it was price right, we, he said we've had the same situation before, he said we thought, you know, you think a bike like, because they're a big KTM dealer, and I'm going to give a big plug to them, and Aaron, the salesman there, because uh, I won't go into too much detail, but I've recently changed my bank account, so obviously when he was putting the finance through, um, all my credit file was showing the old bank account. I put the new bank account details in because I think it updates monthly, doesn't it? Your credit file. So the thing that was causing a problem was my bank details. So I had to get proof of pay slips for a month for them, three months of. Um, so I had to go get in contact with my old bank and get uh, bank statements. The only reason I've changed is pleading remortgage from. Uh, I was with Nationwide and me remortgaged to Nat West and changed the bank account for a better <laughs> better interest rate. We've got a a Tetley at the side of me. Same colour as well. Yeah, so uh, where I was, uh, <laughs> just admiring Tetley in my mirror, what I could see of it in my mirror. Lovely bike that, um, Adventures with Woody. 
done a lot to it, hasn't he, that bike? Well, we all bank, and anyway, not boy with a bank. Basically, it was a bit of a pain in the backside um, sorting out the finance, where normally it just goes straight through, but Aaron persisted all week. Um, so we could get it sorted and get it picked up. The reason I picked up, I mean, it's only at Stoke, so I could have got down to Stoke anyway, but my friend Ray, um, he run me down here, but he's away next couple of weekends, so... I wanted to get it over the line this weekend and Aaron there at the at Pottery's Motorcycles and Scooters, big KTM dealer. But they have um, Indians in, Benelli's, they have all sorts of got massive second hand range, some lovely bikes in there, but they were KTM dealer off the bat really, they're a big KTM dealer. Um, yeah, and he was saying about the bike about They've had bikes in where they've, they've, you know, they've priced them at, you know, quite cheap, and they don't get bite on them because people think it's good, too good to be true. It's got to be something not right with it. And then they'll put 500 quid at asking price, and people start phoning up and inquiring about it. So he said, with this one, they've had it longer than they expected. So he just said, when it went in for its PDI, you know, it'd been stored battery, and the um, the what's it, the battery and the chain got changed. There he goes. <laughs> I'm not following you, mate. I only get used to it. Someone's trying to ring me as well. We'll have to wait, I'm afraid. So let's let's do a bit of a first impression because I've done 26 mile on it now. So um, obviously I can't make really comment on these mirrors because I don't think there's, some, there's something not right with them. I don't know if they should have a little arm there to raise them up. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to look, but we'll sort the mirrors out. So that's one little bit of a complaint I need to do. Sort the mirrors out. But it's not. You, know, you just want a quick glance over your shoulder to see what's there, they can't do that. But yeah, it's comfortable. It's a lot different from the Versus. Obviously, the feet are, they're not, um, what's it, you know, they're still under your backside, they're not behind you, you're not like rent, light over, lent right over the tank by any stretch of the imagination. But obviously, it is a very different riding position you are lent forward quite a bit more but it's comfortable on the bike for about 40 minutes now and it's comfortable got this comfort seat on it um, weirdly enough it's a bit harder apparently than the original seat the original seat's a bit squidgy and soft but that gets uncomfortable after a while where this one is padded a bit better and supports you a bit better so that's all they say But yeah, I love it so far, you know, it's comfort wise. Coming from the Versus, it's very different. But it's not going to be uncomfortable, you know, I, could, I think you could easily spend a couple of hours on this. But longer, you won't be uncomfortable on it. I love the sound of it, love the induction noise on it. Beautiful sound there. <laughs> it's sucking all that air into that air box. You can feel the power difference. 106 brake horsepower this compared to what about 69, 68, 69, 70 at best on the versus for that exhaust on. Maybe dragged it up a horsepower or two up to around 70. That Leo Vince on it. Um, this is 106 standard. I don't know whether um, the arrow can not make much of a difference but I can you know you, you definitely feel that definitely a lot different reminds me um, if I think about bikes that I've ridden before because um, it's quite a small bike so I'd probably some hmm, I don't know really maybe riding position more like um, Ray's MT07 that I rode once um, but sort of like the way it um, the way it feels as well, sort of like the way it picks up and, and how smooth it is. I'd probably say more like Danny's Z900 in that resort. 
but Danny said 900 your feet do seem a little bit further back and it seems a bit more of a sportier position uh, there's a video of that I'll stick a link up there <laughs> of me riding uh, my brother-in-law's Z900 so everything's on the bike so no real plans to start uh, you know, I don't, don't need anything, you know, I don't need to start putting anything on it. Tyres are going to be something I'm going to look at probably before we go to Isle of Man. Change the tyres on it. Because they are, like I said, illegal, but they just squared off. It's just been ridden upright everywhere. It's for 3,000 mile, I think, because the original um, Pirelli Corsa tyres that the bike comes with. But at the moment, I'm not going to really feel that. So I'm not going to be, uh, well obviously, I'm not going to be using it that often, so I'm sorry YouTube, you might not see this bike out for, uh, for a couple of months. I'm not riding it in this, I mean it's, there's a bit of summer on, well there's a, they damp the roads but they're not bad at the moment. But yeah, so I'm not going to be uh, getting the bike out in the winter. So we might not see it for a couple of months. Going to get the Versus up for sale. So I think it's the right time to buy a bike, the wrong time to sell one, in it. So I might give it a month and then stick it on. So if anyone, uh, <laughs> anyone wants to buy a Versus, Kawasaki Versus 650. 2013 with maybe just getting close to 11,000 mile, 10,800 mile, 11,000 mile on it. Full service history. Since I've had the bike, it said it's Kawasaki. I did, it's Kawasaki like main service, plugs and fluids and all that. In the what's it's checked, valve clearance is checked and all that. 260 quid or whatever they charge for that. And then I've self serviced it twice. Um, you know, oil, oil and filter change on it twice. Probably, I mean, that has been 12 months since an oil and filter change, so I'll probably do another one before I sell it. Oh, this is a new way, isn't it? To is it? Oh, I'm messing up here now. I'm messing up. Should have gone that way. Turn around. Or is it the new bypass? No, it's just going to take me down to Congleton, isn't it? That? Turning circles different. <laughs> I suppose you get used to that doing new turns in it. Trying to straighten this drive patch down in the middle. <laughs> Don't get crap sprayed on the bike. I don't think there's any salt on the road, is there, or anything like that. Just the drawers just don't seem to dry out, do they? Don't want to dry out this time of year. Sure, they warm these heated grips, huh? Is that the higher setting? Stick it on that, see what happens.
the difference between the art the difference between the R model and the um, just the standard model is the suspension and the brakes. Um, it's got it's got ABS, but um, obviously the thing I think it's got switchable ABS. It said or two stage ABS. I have to have a look through the manual. Um, the suspension, front and back, fully adjustable and a, um, a better quality than the standard street triple and the front brake is a Nissan 4 pot uh, which is upgraded to um, to what you get on the standard street triple it's got a Brembo rear brake and I'm not sure to be honest with you whether that's standard on the uh, on the other street triple I think it is, I think they all come with a Brembo rear brake <laughs> that quick shift it definitely works alright so different so different from from that versus and I've said that a million times and everyone's probably saying yeah well obviously but you know <laughs> not having um, ridden a lot of different bikes certainly think I've made the right choice used to how to use it though, I keep letting off and that's the thing you got to keep it on <laughs> that's better you just I'm automatically letting off because <laughs> it's just unnatural isn't it not to um... I mean it'll shift with no revs but I think if you're letting off as you try and shift it's not as seamless as it is if you've got it you're actually accelerating when you use the quick shifter. I'm gonna keep it keep my eye on the speed. What will mark cars and um cameras and what have you around this area so Not that I'm speeding, I'm going to have to give um, Aaron a ring, I think, when I get back, because I think there's a problem with his speed, or certainly not reading right, anyway. Definitely not been reading right. Oh, that is addictive, that is so addictive, YouTube. So happy, I really have. I've got a massive big grin on my face, big cheesy grin. A kid with a new toy. Well, I am a kid with a new toy. That's exactly what I am. Oh, what a bike! What a bike! Yeah, that's good as well. Both lights. I don't know why I thought in the head that only one headlight would be on. Oh, that's just going to save you a lot of arm, uh, hand pump with the clutch there. But it's not got any um, assist or slipper clutch on it. <laughs> just that noise is incredible, isn't it? 
knock it up to six gear get it down to 30 mile an hour we're bumbling on six gear 30 mile an hour it just pulls away no but, 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 I mean that that twin engine reverses would have uh, had a bit of a wobble on there <laughs> If I go under this bridge, I can get on the bypass then. and then get on the motorway and just do the last bit of a bit of a little stretch down the motorway. I want to go out. I want to go up through Buxton and all round and come through Snake Pass and everything, but I can't. I'm back in work tomorrow, and it's the only day full day off really, back in work tomorrow at uh, midday it's my only day off this weekend, I can't spend it playing on my bike when you know what I mean, I'm not, uh, not seeing the kids all week and the missus so they did it again then <laughs> I let off instead of just letting it just Natural reaction, I suppose, isn't it? It's a problem in it as well. Bits of mud on road and everything else. Oh, you can feel what it wants to do, though. It's happy in them corners. Obviously that squared off tyre won't be uh, helping me, well tyres. as confident in <laughs> right handers as I am left handers. I'm not, <laughs> not brilliant in left handers but it just does it's just I don't know One of things isn't it the more you ride the more miles you get under the belt. I mean I'm looking at that versus and I, I think I've only put around a bit too far over there. I think I've only put about four thousand mile on it. I don't think, I know I've only put about 4,000 miles on it in three years. Criminal that, isn't it? Really? So, big bike experience. What's this clown doing? Oh, we're just gonna. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna play with that little bend then. Just a little bit. Wait, get out, could he? Get out, but. Yeah, um. So like, as far as like big bike experience goes, uh, that's about it, <laughs> 4,000 miles, not a lot, not a lot at all, probably done a thousand on the DR. So since I've got back on the bikes, you know, 5,000 miles in three years, it, it's criminal isn't it? Oh, it's work and stuff like that are a big factor in that. But it's just what it is, it's like Catch 22, it's like getting this now on fire. <laughs> Me knocking the Sundays on the head. But now at least, not gonna happen. 
So, you know what I mean, it's finding play time to get the bikes out and then juggling the time between what type of riding I want to do, do I want to go out on the DR? I want to go out on, I mean obviously you know what's going to happen, you know it's going to take preference as soon as the, uh, the weather gets better, it's going to be this. But, um, regarding the DR, obviously that'll get a lot of use over the next few months, so won't be neglected. The new chains come. Well, that can go on next week. An MOT next week, so if the chain, will, chain can go on, and I'll take it straight for an MOT. Just insured the DR for 95 quid with Bennett's. Oh, pleased with that breakdown cover on it. Um, I've not. I don't think I've gone for helmet and leather. I've not. I've not gone for helmet and leather cover on the DR. Which, um, whether that'll be a mistake or not, I don't know. <laughs> Most likely fall off that. But I don't know. I mean, would helmet and leathers cover cover me? Man, you wouldn't tell them, would you? If you fell off in Pigeon Tower and scuffed me helmet. Well, I won't tell them I fell off in Pigeon Tower, but... Anyway. Sure, we can get to the 34 this way, can't we? Can we? I'm oh, sure we can. Just the way it's structured. So what do you think of the new bike then? Leave some comments, uh, nice to have a bit of feedback. Anyone that's got one, um, anyone that's new to the channel, looking at the, uh, I don't know if you've got the same bike as me, or you're interested in the um, in the street triple then, like I say, maybe not for the next uh, few uploads, but certainly in the future, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'll be bringing you more videos um, a more of a long term review of ownership and what it's like after I've done a few hundred mile well it won't be a long term review but what it's like after I've done a few hundred mile on it on better tyres and better road I mean they're not bad tyres they're just, they're just obviously won't be as good being squirted off Now I'm like feeling it out a bit better and getting a bit more of a feel for it. You know, I'm not sort of like <laughs> originally it's sort of like aching my hands a little bit, and I think it was that because I'm leaning over. I think it was because you're just gripping on a bit more, aren't you? You're just a bit more sort of like uh, rigid with it, and it's not flowing and being relaxed. Should have got the other way. Very addictive that power. Well, the noise is the sound. The sound that's so addictive.
where I'll be sat at home now. <laughs> I'm going to be waiting for it ringing when I get home. <laughs> I think he was more excited than me this morning. I certainly as excited. New bike time. Oh. Bit achy on the shoulders. But again, that'll just be getting used to the riding position. I'm not I'm not even been riding properly. So And the bike pants are still snug, but there is a reason for that, Adam, because I've not started the diet. <laughs> I'll start on Monday, and Monday never comes. Ford one of them you live around Willslow and all the edge, can't you? Charity shops around here, that's what you want to do. <laughs> Father-in-law does it. They're going mad now saying this on it. But not a bad idea, isn't it? Comes to like Old Hill Edge and Wilmslow and stuff. They go in the charity shops. They get like armor. <laughs> Our man is shirts are like a fiver and stuff like that. I don't mind a charity shop myself, I like walking around charity shops and flea markets and stuff. I collect um, ordinance, ordinance survey maps and they've always got plenty in. So I always come out, you know, we'll go anywhere. When we went, um, from where I came through before, Leak, in fact I passed this KTM dealer a few times when we went on our uh, bit of a summer break. We stopped in a, was it Barden or something like that? Barden Farm. We stopped in a little place just between Stoke and Leek, up on the tops. Uh, stopped in Cottage, a uh, converted barn conversion it was. With the family and my mum and uh, brother's family. Uh, five days, six nights or whatever it was, six nights, five days there. and. Um, saying now train of thought has gone <laughs> what was I saying I was talking about the dealership I was talking about coming through oh talking about charity shops yeah so we went into Leek to the market they've got the old um, well, they've got the outdoor market and then they've got an old Victorian market uh, it's like but the butter market I'm sure it's called the butter market correct me if I'm wrong YouTube but I'm sure it's the butter market we had a walk round there, um, and then in the charity shops, and I, I came away from there with about four or five more ordinance survey maps. A shake of the disapproving shake of the head from Nicola. More bleeding maps. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all, but I just like looking at them. You never know, might need them one day. Um, and I, um, I like steam engines as well, like going to steam engine rally, it's not been for a couple of years uh, well we didn't know, well we didn't go last year, we didn't go to any last year, we went to the year before and the year before that we didn't go last year uh, partly because um, we had the, the old is Cape Verde and that breaking I've just been telling you about restricted what we could do and what we couldn't do there were two books in there, um, nice books as well, um, about uh, traction engines and stuff like that, and I wanted them both. Anyway, the guy that was on the stall was just watching it while somebody else had gone for a blue or a burger or whatever he'd gone for. So I said, I'll let him know, and uh, when he gets back, uh, obviously, I'll get, I'll get a price off him. Anyway, we wandered around, went back and bloody sold him. Should have asked him really, look, I'll definitely have them. Really good books, some nice books there. Uh. 
Hey, you came on here looking <laughs> for a Triumph Street triple review and got me talking about bleeding steam engine books and on the charity shops. Well, that's my channel YouTube. I just waffle on about anything. But what I'll do before we get on the motorway, I'll um, I'll leave it. I'll leave the camera running, but I'll uh, I'll end the commentary and all that because it's windy and I don't know what the mic's um, gonna pick up. So uh, hope you've enjoyed this little video. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the new bike. Have I made a good choice? Um, swapping the Versys out for this uh, if you want to buy <laughs> want to buy the Versys by all means leave a comment come and look at it it's up for sale um, I'm gonna stick it on for uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it on for three and a half not saying I'll get three and a half for it but with um, oh, I've got to do an induction noise I don't do it I've got to do that just drop it down again Had to do that, had to do that. Yeah, uh... Yeah, so like, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment on what you think of the bike. If you're new to the channel, you're more than welcome to stay along for the ride. You'll get more videos on the new, um street triple you probably get a final ride of the versus probably when it goes through some MOT and a bit of a final ride uh, you'll get a lot of footage of the DR in the next um, upcoming weeks that's the DR 250s which is an imported bike American import I've recently learned I've been saying it's a Japanese import and I more, more or less got that confirmed by Aaron who I've just bought the bike off because he knows um, because they're both in stock, so he knows DK motorcycles and knows they get all they get all the bikes from America now. So it's an American import, hence probably why the chain size was wrong. Because the one or two size chain is for the Japanese import, and the American import's different. So there we go. We learn, we lives, and we learns. <laughs> so yeah, that's just got to leave me to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on my first ride. Um, I'll see you all again soon, you all ride safe, stay safe and I'll see you on in the next one.